So on Sunday, April 30th at approximately 7, 17 a.m., a member, a family member of Mr. Naki called for police assistance at an address near mile marker 18.5 on Cam 5 Highway in Molokai. Uh, the caller reported Mr. Naki was on private property acting disorderly. There was also a confirmed TRO which, was, which prohibited Mr. Naki from being on that same property. Officers arrived on scene at approximately 7.41 a.m. and made contact with the caller who said that Mr. Naki left and was nearby. Officers located Mr. Naki and as one of the officers is getting out of his car, Mr. Naki immediately advances towards the officer while carrying a two-foot machete. Put it down! Put it down! Put it down now! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! Now! Put it down! Put it down! One officer discharges his taser at Mr. Naki, but there is no effect. Put it down! No! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! No! I'm telling you, put it down! Put it down! Nathaniel! Both officers instructed Mr. Naki over 70 times to drop the machete and approximately 29 times to move back. They can be heard telling Mr. Naki that they don't want to harm him. Put it down, Tano. Tano! I don't want to shoot. Hey, go! 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 Don't do it! Put it down now! Tano, I don't want to kill you today. Put it down. Put it down. I'm telling you, bro. Put it down. 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 You wrong. You wrong. You don't belong over there. Back up. Bro. Put it down, Tano. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down, Tano. Tano. Come on, bro. Put it down. What you just did was wrong. No, what you did was wrong. I told you so much times. No, go over there. You keep going over there, bro. I keep telling you, don't go over there. I love going over there. You did go over there. You argue with them. You that? Yeah, you're not supposed to go over there. Bro, my land. Put it down. Please. Mr. Naki eventually advances towards one of the officers and gets within approximately two arms length before almost before both officers almost simultaneously discharged their weapons. Drop the machete. No, you drop your machete. We in charge. Put it down, Tano. Tano, put it down, Tano. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Stop. Stop. Put it down. Put it down. Tano, where are you going, bro? Put it down. Oh, oh, Put it down. Up. You back up. Oh, you back up. Grace, you back up. Grace, back up, bro. Grace, back up, bro. Yeah, back up. Grace, back up. Stop. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Put him down. Put it down. Come on. Put it down. Put it down. MPD holds the value and sanctity of human life at the highest level. This is written in our department policy. One of the involved officers was CIT or critical incident trained. The other officer had attempted to get that individual critical services on prior occasions. Life-saving measures were administered. We understand that we have a family who is grieving the loss of a loved one. There are no winners in critical incidents, and we all pay a price. Our officers did not wake up that morning with the intent to harm anyone. Those officers, by choice, are members of the Molokai community. Their lives are forever affected as well. 
for them, their families, and their children to be threatened or intimidated is wrong. It is the suspect's actions that dictate an officer's response.